I was recruited um, to come to Vanderbilt to start a clinic that takes care of patients with uncommon vascular disorders. Jessica was actually one of the first patients that I had when I started here. When I walked in the room, she started to bust out and cry. And she said, you don't understand, my whole town and I have been waiting for you to get here. And uh, talk about pressure. <laughs> and she says, I'm not crazy, I don't normally cry, but I'm just so happy that someone knows what I have. Jessica had a heart attack from something called spontaneous coronary artery dissection. The arteries in Jessica's heart actually tore. Obviously this is a terrifying thing because you didn't do anything to cause it. Dr. Kim, she's the woman with the plan. So she's been the one just leading the way. It makes a huge difference knowing that, um, that I'm important to her. They got the answers that I was looking for, got me the treatment that I needed. They knew what was wrong with me and they took care of me. Seeing Jessica with her husband and her son, I'm tearing up, um, and knowing that she has a life outside of this heart attack just means a lot. I feel a lot of pressure as a doctor um, because I know so much is at stake and that when I treat Jessica, it's not just her, it's her son and it's her husband and apparently the rest of her town as well. <laughs> Just seeing the personal human side of Jessica and being able to put myself in her shoes with my family and knowing that, you know, Jessica's more than a patient. She's a mom and she is a wife. She's a teacher and she's a neighbor. And so um, I have to take good care of her.